For even more Atari fun, head over to Atari.io. It's Atari Test. Kangaroo! I remember seeing this game in my local arcade back in the early 80s. And initially, it looks like it'd be a lot of fun to play. At least, it looked like a lot of fun to play to me. Uh, it had some very colorful graphics. Uh, the artwork of the game cabinet was very appealing. And I gave the game a try. And I gave the game a try again. And again. I never could get very far in the arcade version of Kangaroo. Uh, this game is very difficult for me to play. The monkeys just drive me freaking insane. Now, they're pretty relentless on throwing those crazy apples at you. But, you know, it's still a fairly decent game. It has a great concept. You know, you're playing a mama kangaroo trying to save your little baby roo from the kidnap uh, monkeys that kidnapped him. So you have a lot of neat little goals you got to do. You got a little fruit you can pick up along the way. Of course, you got a bell you can ring. You get a bonus, bonus fruit. The main challenge of the game was actually trying to get to your baby kangaroo. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like Donkey Kong Jr. and how you're climbing up these different types of platforms and things like you do in Donkey Kong Jr. I think probably one of my favorite levels in Kangaroo the arcade game is where you're sitting there punching that pile of monkeys to get the cage to lower down in order to rescue your baby kangaroo inside the cage. I don't know what it is about that level. I just really like just punching the living daylights out of those monkeys that are all stacked up. I know, I'm a little weird. But I remember when this came out for my Atari 2600. Now, at the time this game was released on the 2600, uh, I was actually renting games before I bought them. And Kangaroo was one of the games I actually rented before I actually purchased it. Because, you know, I'd been burned in the past on getting some new Atari games from third-party publishers that weren't kind of like up to par. Looking at you, Firefly from Mythicon. So what I would do is I would actually go to my local video rental store that was renting out Atari 2600 games. And I would just rent the newest releases to see if I liked them. If I really liked them, I would buy them. Now, being an arcade port, you would think, I'd go ahead and just pick this up right away because it's an arcade port. No. I did not buy this game for my 2600. I played it on the 2600 uh, over a weekend when I first rented it. It was kind of challenging. It was actually very challenging for me. One of the things I really didn't like about it was they replaced that random throwing apple that the monkeys throw at you with this bouncing dot that when it gets right above you will immediately come down at you. It kind of reminds me of the, is that, what is that, Load Runner? Or is it Jump Man? I, mean, I think it's Jump Man. Or it has that bullet that appears on the side of the screen and it gets on the same level as you do. It comes after you. It shoots at you. Kind of remind me of that a little bit. So you got to be really careful when you're climbing up the screen because if that little dot pops out when you're climbing a ladder, you're done for. It's going to get you. And the game only had like three different levels in it. It didn't have the favorite level I like where you just keep punching that stack of monkeys. I may have liked it more if it had that level. I don't know. But the game was kind of bland to me. The only time I actually ever played this game was that weekend that I rented it. I maybe played it a few times since then, on and off, just for nostalgic purposes. But this is one of those 2600 games, arcade ports, I really didn't like. Granted, they did a really good job on the kangaroo animation and everything. That looked really good. It's just... I just didn't really like the game that much. But, you know, you got some good ones and you got some bad ones. You know, it's, it's a give and take kind of thing. We're in the old classic game things. Anyway, that's enough lambling about this. Let's move on to what came in the box. Awesome. Well, now let's take a look at the kangaroo box for the Atari 2600. Really cool artwork, pretty much like from the arcade. I think this is a second release version because the graphics are a little bit different I think on the early one or maybe it's later one I'm not for sure I know there's an alternate alternative box art graphic that's much nicer than this one I would have liked to have that but this one's fine 
This is the one I picked up not too long ago. I, I didn't really own this game for my 2600 back then, as I was describing earlier in the video. I did rent this game from Rental Place, and I didn't really like the gameplay, so I didn't even bother picking this up. I didn't even pick it up on clearance. When it went on clearance, I didn't like the game so much. But anyway, it's still kind of cool. You know, it's part of the history of Atari and their arcade ports. So I wanted to include it in here, even though it's one I didn't really care for. Of course, in the back, it has that nice little classic screen of the family enjoying, what? What's this? Space Invaders? Why aren't they playing Kangaroo? I know, because it's not that great. Shows the game screen, which is very representative. And we have the multiple language on the back. So inside the box of CX2689, we have... It's kind of neat to have the cartridge offset in the box off to one side. That's kind of cool. The Kangaroo cartridge itself with the same artwork on the front. See, I like this a little bit better, how they got it angled up. I think I would like that better on this box, and it's just red band right here. And, of course, we have the instruction manual. So there's that 90-day limited warranty card. And here's the instruction manual. This is the black and white version, but it shows the alternative artwork that appeared on this box, so this must be the later release. So the early release was the one that had this artwork on the front that was full color. I think this was blue, if I remember right. I would have loved to have that in my collection. Maybe I'll replace this one with that version, because I like the box art a little bit better on that. I know, it's kind of weird, you know. I don't know. I don't like the game, but I want to get the alternative box. That's kind of strange. There's a little baby Rue right there going, Mama! He's all blindfolded. I like how she's punching the monkey. Punch that monkey! And this isn't like a normal manual. It kind of folds out into like a poster kind of thing going on here. Talks about the game objective, the gameplay. You got climb the screen, save your baby Roo. Of course, it's like a poster. It's kind of cool. I would like it better if it was like full color instead of just black and white. And of course, have your game variations. I was playing it on one baby kangaroo, one player, novice. And I couldn't really play the game that well. But it was still kind of fun. All the helpful hints. When a monkey moves towards you, ready to throw an apple, watch the direction of his throwing arm. It winds back underhand, the apple will be thrown so low. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is true. When you get ready to throw an apple at you, if it's if they got their arm raised, they're going to throw it high. If they got an arm row, low, they're going to throw it low. Although I didn't really pay too much attention to that. <laughs> Kangaroo. What are your thoughts on Kangaroo on the Atari 2600? What do you think of it in the arcade? Comment down below. Anyway, thanks for watching.